up guys hello everyone and welcome back to the stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much guys i really do appreciate my subscribers yeah please i do appreciate the thumbs up that you give to me the comments the support for my channel i appreciate it a lot a lot a lot if you are new to my channel uh, you're welcome if you are just passing by you're welcome also and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and do not forget to hit on the notification bell just below the subscribe button to get updates whenever i upload a new video so you don't miss out on any of my videos um subscribe and just do that to support my channel yeah so guys today i'm actually gonna be teaching you how to cut a shape gown that's what i'm gonna be teaching you how to cut today how to cut a shape gown or how to cut it and sew a gown yeah that's what i'm just gonna be showing you it's just classy i'm gonna be making use of this ankara fabric is uh, actually two and a half uh, yards of fabric you could make use of two yards for somebody of my size i could make use of one and a half yard or two yard but the owner of this dress is a little bit bigger in size yeah so let's just jump into it and then okay let's just go <laughs> oops okay so i'll be folding my fabric into four i'm gonna be folding it into four i've already folded it out now and then i'm i've gotten some lines imputed on it just to save time to make it a little bit faster so you could see what i have here so this is um, the point that I'm going to be starting from. This is going to be like my shoulder line. So I'm, I'm going to be explaining it to you when I'm done. And then this first line that I have here is my the, the bust line. And then this is the waist line. And then this is the hip line. And then the full length of this gown that I'm going to be making. So this is the full length. So for this shape gown, the first thing I'm going to be doing now... As I go along, you could see the picture up there that I showed you initially. So I'm just going to be coming like this. And from this uh, shoulder point, I'm going to be slanting my shoulder first. That's the first thing I'm actually going to be doing. So I'm going to be making use of one and a half inch from this point. And then I'm going to be slanting it to this up point. So I'm just going to be putting it like this. And then I'm slanting it to the top of the neckline part so there are various ways of doing this there are various ways of doing it the end result that is what actually matters so for new um, people that are learning how to sew you have various ways so for this kind of um, shape and um, gown the shoulder, you could see from the picture I showed you earlier on, you could see the shoulder and the, the sleeve is uh, joined to the shoulder. And I'm going to be, at the end of the day, I'm going to be using this uh, fabric, a contrasting fabric to do like a turn up on the sleeve part. So I'll leave that. So for this, I'm going to be making use of my entire width of this uh, fabric that I folded out. You could actually measure that. You could do that by putting your tape on, at the middle part of your back and then you measure up to where you actually want the sleeve to be so for this i have 22 inches so i'm going to be making use of the entire 22 inches so the first thing i'll do now i'm going to be imputing the neckline measurement so i'm just going to be using um i'm going to be making use of um, three and a half inches width so this is like my three and a half inches width and then i'm going to be dropping i'm going to be making use of one um, the depth that i'm going to be making use of i'm going to be making use of five inches depth that's for the neckline because i'm going to actually be putting a keyhole you could decide to do that you could decide not to do so it depends on what you actually want so this is for the front neck line so the back neck line is going to be a little bit higher than the front neck line so i'm just going to be making use of two inches for the back neckline so i'll just do it like this so this is the back neckline and then this is the front neckline so what i'll do now cut out the back neckline first 
So at the end of the day, when I'm done, I'll cut out the front neckline. So I've already done the shoulder slant. That was what I started with. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be measuring the sleeve. I told you I'm going to be making use of the entire length, even adding to it at the end of the day. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, the sleeve, that is the, the height of the sleeve. I'm going to be making use of 11 inches. So note, you, could, you can see that I have half an inch left here. I left half an inch on top. That is what I'm going to be using to join the shoulders together. So you see I have 11 inches here. So that's what I'm going to be using for, for the sleeve. That's the armhole. That's the round armhole. So this is 11 inches. So that's the line. So from this line now, that's where I'm, which is my bust line, that's where I'm going to be imputing the bust measurement. And then the bust measurement that I'm going to be using for this shape gown is actually 44 inches. So for beginners, when we're making dresses like this, you normally divide most of the measurement by 4 inches, except the shoulder that you divide into 2. So since we have 44, when you divide 44 into 4, you have 11 inches. So I'm just going to come here now to this point, and then you can see from the center, this is my 11 inches. So now, the allowance that you're going to be adding to it, you could decide that you could decide to make use of um, three between three and five inches, which is much though. So it depends. So most times I like putting excess allowance on my dresses so I don't run into any problem. So for this, I'm just gonna be going with a four inch allowance because I really do not want it to be too um, um, fitted. Even though it's a shaped dress, I really do not want it to be too fitted. So from this point now, I'm just gonna be coming in. That's from the the line that's the bust line i'm just going to be coming in by those five inches i'll use five inches so i'm just going to mark it like this so i'm ignoring this one now so i'll go with this five inches so i'm just making like a curve now you could see what i have here this is like a curve because this is going to serve as my sleeve point so i'm just making it like so i'm I, when i'm stitching i'm going to be stitching on this other line so i'm just going to leave this here so the next thing i'm going to be measuring now is the waistline and the waistline i have 40 inches for the waist that's the waist circumference when you take your tape for beginners you take your tape and then you measure around that is what you mean so it depends on how tight you actually want it to be you, if you want it really fitted you fit it up but if you want it a little bit bogus you you loosen up your tape a bit so for this what i have is actually 40 inches so i'm just going to be measuring the 40 inches now and then i'll add uh, like i told you initially i used on um, four inches so i'm just going to be using adding five inches so i'm just going to connect the line like this you could see what i'm doing from this point i'm coming like this so the next thing i'm, I'm doing now is the hip uh, measurement for this um, dress since it's going to be shaped it's not really i really want it um not very fitted though but a little bit shapey so that is why it's called a shape dress it will have shape it's not like it's going to be like an agbada or something so the next thing for the the hip line in order for you to determine your hip line as a beginner you take your tape from your waistline you measure you could measure between 9 and 10 inches depends on how tall the person is somebody of my size my height I could make use of nine inches it's going to be perfect so that is the part where your hip is going to be entering if you make it less the hip part might be here or and if you make it more it might be down so that's just the essence when you go with nine inches you're going to get it perfectly where the hip is going to sit perfectly on the right side so for this the hip is also 44 inches so i'm just going to be making use of my 11 inches like this and then I'm gonna be adding five inches. I'll do this with my five inches. So I'm just gonna be, be, be curving it, not uh, not curve, curve, curve. Uh -huh. So you could just see what I'm doing. You could see what I'm doing. So since it's a shape dress, so this is how you make it. So the next thing now, I'm just gonna be maintaining it like this down. So for the down part, you could decide to. To make the down part of the dress a little bit bigger you could decide to make it smaller so it's, that, that depends on you depends on what you actually want so for this i'm just going to be making it equal with what i have so i'll, I'll just take my my ruler like this and then just bring it down straight i don't want it slanted i just want it straight since it is a shape dress so 
I'm just gonna be making it straight. So now what I'm going to be doing, I'll blend this part, the shapely part, I'll blend it. That is why it is a shape dress. So and then cut it out. Okay, sorry, I forgot to tell you the full length of the dress is actually uh, 44 inches. The full length of the dress is actually 44 inches, leaving half an inch on top, 44 inches, and then I added uh, one inch allowance to it that to help me for the hemline in order for me to fold. So I'll just cut out the excess from the down part. So remember your shape part. So you can see what I have now. So this is your shape part. So I'll just get this out uh, and keep it outside. And then for uh, my contrasting fabric that I told you I was going to be making use of, I already cut out straps just to save time. I already cut out straps of fabric. This I'm actually going to be adding to it after coupling. So I'm going to be cutting out interfacing now. Cut out the front neck. So I'll cut out the front neck. So this is the front neckline. So I'll cut it out like this. And then I'm going to be cutting out interfacing for both the back and the front neck. So after joining uh, the shoulders together, I'll join the shoulders together and then show you how to actually put to fix the turn up. I'm going to be showing you. So for the turn up, I have strap. Okay, I'll explain that later. For this dress, if you actually if you actually want to add um, inner pockets to it, you could do that. If you want to add hard uh, outer pockets to it, you could also do that. Most times, I always advise when adding uh, outer pockets to your dress, it's always work with your waistline. It's always best because when you put your hand, you find that that most times some pockets they will be down. So it depends on what you want. But if you want the ones that would be here. You just have to work with your waistline and since this is my waistline so the pocket is going to be starting from the top of my waistline so that's where it's going to be starting from so it depends on how and what you want you just cut out your fabric and then just place you will have to place the pocket on it before joining the back and the front together so i'll come back to show you how to connect the sleeve all right guys welcome back so you can see, um, I finished, uh, I coupled the dress, this is my shape dress, I coupled it, so you can see this on uh, the back neck and then the front neck. So you can see the pocket I was talking about. I actually used uh, 18 inches like I told you, that, that's the beginning of the pocket and the pocket I cut out. I cut out um, 12 inches, so the remaining 2 inches is for fold, to fold it in. So I'm not actually not really going to be deliberating on that. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is the turn up uh, sleeve that I was talking about. So for the turn up sleeve, so I have my sleeve laid out here, you can see it now. So this is the sleeve, it's laid out like this. So I've cut out um, the strap that I want to use to add to my sleeve, so I could just do this. Just cut this out just to make sure it's equal so i have uh, straps of a uh, sleeve cut out already i just cut out some straps of fabric so what i have actually have here is three three and a half inches that's on four this three and a half inches so open like this that's seven inches so what i'm actually going to be doing now i'm just going to be doing a very simple way of doing this so i'm just going to be taking it like this I'll bring uh, this side to this side. So I'm just going to be cutting it. I'll cut the exact length of what I have here on the sleeve. I'll cut the exact length. So you just do that. Cut out the exact length. So and then bring the two edges together. And then I'll, you see what I'm doing? I'll stitch it together like this. I'll stitch it on this side, on the wrong side. I'll stitch it on, I'll stitch from the wrong side. As I'll place the strap on the wrong side. So I'm just going to use um, pins, little pins to indicate it, to make it easier. So I just do this. So when I get to those um, points where 
the sleeve ends that's the end of the sleeve like this i just cut out the, the remaining excess that i have i'll cut it out using the shape of the the sleeve to cut it out so i'll go back to my machine and stitch it and then bring it and show you what's next to do so you can see guys i finished sewing it so after sewing it you fold it like this and then you iron it you see after stitching it together like this you fold like this and then you iron it and then you see what i have you can see you can see the turn up now so i'm just going to be leaving it like this and then i'll do the same thing to the other side and then now the next thing i'll do now the, the dress is done the dress is done so all i'll do now just take take it to my machine and then stitch i'll measure use the one inch and then give it and just stitch it down from up down and then fold the down part that's the hemline so that's that so guys this is how it is i have now come to the end of this video if you actually find this video helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel so thank you so much for watching so i'll put it on the mannequin for you to see the final look thank you so much and god bless you bye all right welcome back guys so you can see i finished making the shape gown like i said so you can see the turn up sleeves and then you can see the pocket so you can you could decide to use any fabric of your choice even the pockets you can you could decide to use a uh, different fabrics for the pocket so thank you so much and then you can decide to put a keyhole here so it just depends on what you want so just get creative get fabric and make beautiful things for yourself and then you with that you'll be able to advertise what you do so thank you so much if you find this video helpful don't hesitate to like it share it and if you have not subscribed please subscribe so thank you so much for watching see you in my next video and god bless you